know, but it's like a friend of mine on Instagram, Courtney the Bunny, she, uh, she, uh, she's a physical therapist back east in Boston, or right, right around the Boston area, and, um, she tagged me, she, we started following each other on Instagram, she tagged me in this post for, uh, running with the cool kids streak for the month of June of 2018, and both of us started running on, just happened to both of us start running on May 27th, and we haven't stopped, but, um, and that was May 27th, 2018, but it just so happened that I registered for the Skagit Flats, Skagit Flats, I think that was the name of it, Skagit Flats, Skagit Valley, Skagit Flats, I don't know, somewhere up in Skagit Valley up north of here, um, in northern Washington, um, Marathon. I registered for that marathon, and then I happened to see later that day on her Instagram profile, I just happened to notice this on her Instagram profile that that was her next race. And here she is from way back east, and that was her next race. And I'm like, whoa, cool. So I sent her a message and said, hey, I'll meet you there. And uh, we started the race together, you know, met her and gave her a hug and everything. And we started the race together. And then, of course, she's like way faster than me. So she just <laughs> took off out of the gate and uh, well, we took off at her gate, ran for about a block or two, and, I'm, and she started taking off. I'm like, okay, well, I'll see you later. And <laughs> she was coming back by, finishing her. She she finished, uh, she ended up not feeling like doing the full marathon, but she finished a half marathon in like an hour or just over. And I'm like, wow. But it was like an hour and 15 or something like that. Um, Pretty quick. Yeah, very quick time. And me, I crapped out on the marathon. It was very long, like six hours or anything now. But anyway, uh, um, started up too fast. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's just like it's ever since then, since May 27, 2018, I've been running. And But it was like that month run streak we were doing got to about May 25th. And I just I started thinking about it, you know, and I'm like, do I feel better? You know, I have multiple sclerosis and everything, but I feel I feel even better. You know, it's, well, of course, since I started running in the first place in 2016, but running every day just keeps that momentum going, mm -hmm. that momentum of feeling good. And it's just like, all right, this is cool. Flashing to Craig Davidson and his 40 some years he had at the time, almost 42 or whatever, and I'm like. Bro, he's been running for 42 years. I can keep this up for one, a lot longer than one month. So yeah. I, I sent Courtney a message and said, Courtney, hey, I know we only signed up for this month run streak, but I'm feeling better than ever, and I'm just going to keep on running forever. And she's like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we're still doing it and uh, still running. And, yeah, it's just like... Uh, it's just so awesome just to be able to keep moving like that and keep running, you know, day in, day out. Like you were saying, even if it is only a mile, and which, you know, I'll admit, a lot of my days are, you know, a mile, mile and a half, a mile and a quarter, whatever, you know, just, just to keep this streak alive. Because um, mm -hmm. it's like after work, I, you know, working in the restaurant, I just on my feet all day. I don't feel like being on my feet anymore, but it's like, I gotta run, so, so I can get a little distance, get at least a mile, maybe two in. But. And then there's days like yesterday where I totally make up for it. I only plan on running four miles, but end up doing 16. Yeah, oops. <laughs> oops. Over, overshot that mark. <laughs> the best is when you get lost, you know? And it's like, oh no, you just keep going miles after miles so you find your way home. Yeah, as a, as a matter of fact, I, when I was opening Gay Harbor, I, I wouldn't have gotten lost. I knew where I was at, but, and I knew 
how much you know I knew how much more how many more miles I'd be having to put in, but because it was getting getting closer to being you know that time when it would start to get dark when it would start getting dark, and I had no light, I figured okay well I better get ahead of them, but otherwise I was going to take this other route that you know that would have added on like five or ten miles. I was just you know feeling I was feeling good feeling you know feeling the runner vibe. And uh, you know, I was I was bitten by the running bug. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's actually it's getting closer to that point. Um. Anyway, I uh, let's see. I had I had a couple questions, a couple more questions. I know I should have written them down. But. Uh, Oh, oh yeah. I was, I was just wondering. So I, I've, I've been, I was wondering, are you guys still doing the uh, like regular or more irregular, uh, infrequent uh, YouTube videos? They've been irregular for sure. As okay. uh, he's gone back to teaching in person, oh, so yeah. he's gone for ten hours every day. Okay. And so our schedule, you know, it was really great, not great when COVID hit at all, but, you know, when everybody was at home and so it was a little easier because we were just at home all the time and now it's a struggle, but we both have a, um, a goal to do more of these videos or to make more time for them. So more will be, com will be coming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was, I was just thinking about that this morning as I, I don't know if you saw that, but I put up a post this morning promoting this, uh, this show here. And uh, I, uh, I just went on, I went on, I opened up my YouTube app and typed your name in the search to, you know, go to your page real quick. And uh, I posted a picture of you, a, a picture of you two from one of your videos, a screenshot. Um, of you guys playing the violin there, and I was, you know, I was thinking back, remembering during what was it, March, April, whatever it was, um, and I would just sit there and, you know, watch your watch your video, and just be mesmerized by, you know, YouTube playing the violin, and of course enjoying the all the Beatles tunes you guys were playing, and you know other other tunes you guys were playing. But that was just so awesome. I got, you know, I got just like, I had sort of liked, you know, sort of been, I had listened to other violin music throughout my life that was like, not much, wasn't too into it. But then I started watching your videos every day and it's like, wow, this is cool. This is, you know, this is really cool. Uh, and I was just, I was talking to my mom yesterday and it's like, um, Sure, growing up when I was a kid, I was listening to, uh, I always heard that song, uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia by Charlie Daniels Band. And it's, yeah. which, as a matter of fact, I, I got to see him play that song live in uh, Jacksonville, Florida one time. I was down there on spring break when I was a teenager and happened to be walking past his park and he was playing a concert for the seniors down there or whatever. And, oh, awesome. Yeah, I, I got to listen to him play that song live, and that was awesome. But, uh, you know, I listened to banjo and other instruments, but, you know, never really got into the symphony and orchestra and all that, but, you know, or just simply solo violin. But you guys, watching you guys play, you know, maybe, of course, it's because years have gone by for me, but I've, and I've gotten to that point, but, you know, just watching you guys play, I've gotten into it, and I like it, love it, and uh, you know, so thank you for that. Um, I was just wondering um, if you guys, if, do you guys, do you guys have your violins available? Yeah, we do. Yes. Okay. Would Would you guys be able to play a song? Of course. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just you know. Song of your choosing, which you played last time or something else. Oh, no we are surprise. playing another Beatles tune, but it's not the same one we played last time. Okay. 
there's a little variety if, if there's anybody that um, saw the last interview. So we're gonna, let's we put it. Um, <coughs> Coordinating this video stuff is a little complicated. The same one, different one, doesn't matter. Beatles are excellent anyway. Let's see if I can rotate this a little bit. Okay. Does that work for you? This is great. Okay. All right. If you're a Beatles fan, you will recognize this tune. If not, well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was awesome. Thank you. Oh, I'm that sorry. Was I'm sorry. I, I was I was listening. I was listening to the tune the whole time, and some of the words were coming to mind. But what was the name of that tune? Here, there, and everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. I, I had it, yeah, I was, I was thinking here something, I don't know, I couldn't, and I couldn't come up with the full title, but uh, Here, There, and Everywhere by the Beatles, performed by Matthew and Emily Madonia. Thank you very much, and that was, that was so awesome. And, uh, Thank you for yeah, having me. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, it would be, you guys, you guys have to do your own, you know, regular show, you know, if everything lined up, you know, like with work and your kids and, you know, everything else you guys have going, you know, mm -hmm. that, would, that would be so cool if you guys just had like a regular show. We've talked about it. I mean, it's a lot of work, as you know, but yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe if we can figure it out time-wise. <laughs> Right on, right on. That would be so cool just, just to have you guys on as like once a month or whatever. <laughs> and then you could have your own, your regular show. And on, then we can have you on our show. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that would be so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
while while you guys were playing, it came to mind. Um, 